and publish what they won't kill us for. Because they can't get you to do those normal stuff that people backslide for. Some folks do it, but, but a lot of folks are sanctified. A lot of folks love God. Come on. So no, they're not doing those things no more. So what they, they do now is to try to get, you see, the part of your being that is closest to your soul, somebody says soul. You see, even if they put a new heart in your body, they have, tra have transplant. Heart transplant doesn't change who you are. Who you are is your soul. So when they put a new heart in you, your soul change that heart to you. Come on, come on. Are you there? You put in a new liver, a new kidney. Don't fret. Don't worry. You are still you because of your soul. So the new heart, the new kidney, the new liver are to adjust to your soul. So what the devil does, you see, I have to get to their soul. Because when he gets saved, he's a soul saved. Your soul is who you are. That's why the Bible said the soul that sinned. Come on, child, surely die. So the closest thing in your body ooh, to your soul is a thing called DNA. It's called deoxyribonucleic acid. And what these scientists have discovered, since we can't turn them away from God, since we can't get them to leave the church, let's work on their soul. So they have found scientific ways to put stuff in your body to alter your DNA. So to have the mark is not to have a mark. Is to lose your soul. Holy Ghost, help me to communicate, Lord. That when they finish with you, you are no longer you. That's why when you get the mark, you can't get saved again. At least you know that. Did you know that? At least, I hope you know that. All it means when they have altered your soul, you are no longer you. You are no a different person. No, I don't know if they can do it perfectly. Because I, 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 I can't over say stuff. I would say just like it is. But the intention is to alter your soul. So no matter what, you can't change again. Because you are no longer you. You are no longer Tina. Huh? You are Jojo. Come on, Mina. Now the, now the devil woman explain this thing. Because you got some funny things that's so smart. And the church is not scientific. They don't know about DNA. They don't know about science. Well, that's why you gotta be careful. I must stand talking to you like I know all the perfect information. You gotta be careful for your soul. So the Bible says, What? Does it profit a man? Come on, come on now. To gain the world. And lose your soul. It means though you don't know everything, you don't take chance with your soul. You don't give any opportunity to alter your soul. But you know what? It's most intelligent people run for these things because they're so smart. And the Lord has led me to, 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 to tell you there's a lot at stake. There's a lot at stake. With the job God has given you, there's a lot at stake. Glory to God. And the Lord has directed me to tell you, I want to release what I call a, a, a Joshua Factor Firewall. Upon the church and upon the body of Christ. Listen to me. Even if you go take, you, you go and take that thing, don't worry yourself. I'm here to help you. Can you don't expel that mess out of your body? I, 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 it's soul I just started talking about. Her. What was I talking about right now? Soul! Under God, we are releasing a Yeshua 
fata firewall. We got shut at the Baba. Mashakata. And we are offering it to every person. Come on. Because listen, if you take that thing, maybe I'm going to be more powerful than me. Because Peter, come on, somebody. Glory to God. He was full of life. And he's the one who always messing up. <laughs> He always full of zeal. He loved Jesus more than anybody else. But he always messing up. So Jesus knew his heart. So Jesus said, Peter, the devil planned to destroy you. But I'm praying for you. You insane amen and me. Come on, somebody. And Jesus had to rebuke Peter. I rebuke you. Raga shut I rebuke you, Raga Shatara Baba Baba, who had caused yourself to be infected. And I command that mess in your body to come out. And I believe in you, that's why I'm rebuking you. And I know you're going to come up. I know you're going to be mightier than others. But you have to take the correction. I Raga Shaka Baba Baba. Braga baba baba, I rebuke you for your soul's sake, for your future sake. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, and I extract every gel out of you. I extract every device out of you. I extract. Every altering chemical out of you in the name of Jesus, and I release a spiritual firewall. I release a Joshua factor firewall. You can if you don't receive, if you don't want to receive, it's up to you. You don't want to, it's up to you. If you know everything. And you're so smart, you can reject it if you want. But I release it now. 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 In the name of Jesus. You sit down. This firewall has several parts. Prayer. Hard. Prayer. In this time, in this time, hard prayer and fasting every day. We build this thing. We build this. We build this thing. We build this thing. This subtle thing. This smart thing that's abusing your situation, abusing your health concern, abusing your travel concern. Abusing your family concern. Prayer. Pray against it every day. If it's you touching, preach harder than me. Preach harder than him. Don't soften it up. Be like Peter who came back and became the, come on somebody, the presiding bishop of the church. The second part of the firewall is scripture. Scripture. Get all them scripture. How that expel this thing. When it's in Matthew chapter 15, somewhere there, he said, What God had not planted, somebody help me here, shall be rooted out. Another one is in Psalm 81, about verse 9. He said, They shall know strange God be in you. Another one is in uh, Psalm 50, uh, Isaiah 54, verse 15. He said, The righteous shall be far from oppression. Get our scriptures. Somebody said, Josh, Joshua Factor, firewall. Someone's a firewall. Someone's a firewall against the beast. Someone's a firewall against the antichrist. Someone's a firewall against 666. Someone said, I receive the Joshua factor firewall. 
in the name of Jesus. Prayer, number one. Scripture, number two. Here is now. Info. Info. Information. Don't let them trick you with the information. Listen. The alligator is dead. Don't let them frighten you with the news. We told you already that the news department, the political system, of course, are now in conference room because they thought that disease would still be destroying across the world and they want to bring in their stuff. Come on, somebody. Eh? Come on. I, I'm a reason why I don't call the name of it. Under God, I have me somebody here. Eh? Glory to God. Somebody say firewall. Somebody say firewall. Somebody say firewall. So they, so the, the, the info that they give you, understand that that info, they sap in their conference room. I say, what are we going to do? The alligator is dead. It's gone. The numbers are going down. The numbers are plunging. But yet still, we have not yet brought on our stuff. Listen, they wanted to bring it down earlier so that they can say it reduce it. You don't want any help here, summer. Folks don't go to church, but their scientists gone to laboratory. They won't go to church. I said they were hoping to bring it quicker, to bring their stuff quicker. So come on. So when it go down, when the disease plunge, they can say, is this stuff causing her? But God pull the rough from under their feet. And the numbers begin to go down from last year, October. <laughs> So they say, what are we going to do? We have to appear. We have to let the world think that this, the world is burning down. We have to let the people think that everybody's going to get it. Get it. So, they guess what they do? They choose a country called India. I got to teach you this stuff. They choose a country called India. And every day, they bombard you. Folks are dying in India. Those terrible image. Folks walking and the drop. So the Lord said to me, I'm going to tell you what God told me. The Lord said, check the numbers yourself. The Lord told me. I can't show the, the numbers up there. The Lord said, check the numbers yourself. In India, listen me go now. In India, they say 20 million infected. You know? That sounds like a lot. But India have 1,300 million people. So that 20 million is just 1.4% of India. So smart people, why you know this? Listen. Come on, somebody. That's less infection than America. America have 33 million so-called so-called infected <laughs> and America have 200 million people come on somebody no <laughs> India have four times the population of America <laughs> so the 1.4% if you work it by proportion is really just about 0.4% you know, point four, you don't reach one. <laughs> okay. Come on, information more important than fuel. Ask Reverend Hodge. <laughs> That's the Antichrist oil information. Hey! Well, they say 200,000 dead. In, in, in India. But it's 600,000 dead in America. But yes, they're using India now to say, well, it's getting worse. How is it getting worse when America has 600 million dead and have a quarter, quarter of, of India's population? You, am I going too fast? Come on, somebody. Give me too much information, man. I'm going to put that tomorrow night. Come on, somebody. 200,000 dead. You know what? That is point. One four, 
what one four is less than one tenth of one oh god of mercy and if you check the number it's still four times less than that the number almost cannot be put in arithmetic and that's what they use but it's scared let's pray for india it's what's going on india is burning up the blood is against you wicked liars you're not getting me that's some smart folks in the pulpit taking taking their numbers it's not infected by god and mercy info inform yourself get information compare india is far far less. no every person dead that's a tragedy if it's even one that's a tragedy but don't let them get around you india is far 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 less than america in many countries jamaica have only three million people come on <laughs> india have one point three billion people that's 400 times the population of jamaica now they have jamaica as if jamaica burning down with the disease uh -huh, come on somebody and you still don't have 400 country in the world come on you're not getting me <laughs> oh, did you hear what i said <laughs> oh god oh god that's a smart people i think church don't know nothing that's why you got to go to a holy ghost church come on have you go to a revelation church you ain't saying amen somebody said firewall don't fight me you can't win you can't win you can't win only truth set man free lies can't set free it won't be long before everybody know who right from who wrong come on somebody it took a time amen for them to know that moses was right and Korah was wrong Soon let it go. Soon let it go. You, you give me all the smart reasons why I can take it. Well, those things have been going on all the time from a hundred years ago, two hundred. You have always had those things, and people take those things. And they say, well, it's okay. And they, they make it light. So, what about the abortion cells that they use? The cells of murdered babies to make. Come on, somebody, this stuff. Ha! Huh? Is that enough for you not to take it? You're going to take murdered baby cells into your body. Isn't that enough? Come on, somebody. I'm going to introduce two words to you. One is called a survivor and one is called a martyr. If you try to live as a survivor, you will do anything. You can't just try to survive. Come on, somebody. A survivor can't be a shepherd. Because a survivor, when trouble come, will run, leave the sheep. A survivor will run, leave your own children. And if you live only to survive, they'll get you. You have to be willing to die. You have to be willing to be a martyr. For me to live is Christ. Come on, help me, church. You don't help the little man talk to you. You think it's easy? You think it's easy? Shut up. What if? What do what the lady named the Bible? Who for? Come on, who says I perish? What's your name again? What if Esther was a survivor? Shut up, Baba. She would be alive and her people would be dead. You're not working in me, somebody. You can't be a survivor now. If you're a survivor, they'll get you. You're only trying to live. That's a new thing. That's a new thing. I can run. <laughs> willing to be a martyr. If you're willing to be a martyr, God will save you. You want to be a survivor, you're soon gone. about information right there in the caribbean some countries have been begin to tell their citizens you have to take it listen anything you have to take you have to take it you know it's on the bowels of the devil once your choice is god and the most important thing to god of you is your choice that's why god made good and evil because he value your So in the Caribbean, Caribbean is a tropical region. And all of a sudden, all oh, the people are dying. You have to take it. Church is closed. Curfew everywhere. Trouble everywhere. 
Somebody say firewall. Somebody say firewall. Someone listen to the firewall of prayer, scripture, <laughs> info. Come on, somebody. Is anybody there? And the last one, the preacher preached tonight. God know how to confirm stuff. The last one on my paper. Come on, somebody. Who got good eyes? You got good eyes? What, what, what's the word here? What's that word here? Movement. What did he say? Leave Babylon. You don't want to help here. You don't want a preacher to, 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 to just tell you the thing that go in the back of your mind. You want to hear what you don't want to do. Listen. You want to be able to move. From Bible times, movement was a part of your life. Movement. So what God has done, which we began to speak that from in, 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 in Georgia from last year, it's time to identify the God countries. <laughs> Come on, somebody. The God states. Somebody help me here. The God cities. And leave the devil countries. Somebody uh, and leave the devil states. Somebody in the middle and leave the devil cities. Shake a baba and go to the God countries. Somebody in the and go to the God states. Somebody in the and go to the God cities. And it makes sense to fight me. I can't just do stuff right now. I have to give account to God. You have to, you have to leave the elderly hating countries. The elderly hating states. The elderly hating cities. And go to the elderly friendly. Are you hate me? You're wondering, I'm telling you. What do the way things going on now? I said movement is a major part. The Bible said from the Bible times, tell everybody, from Bible time, they are the cities of refuge. God is a God of refuge. God is a God of escape. God is a God of hiding place. God is a God of covering. That's why the song say, Oh God, hide me, work of ages. Till the blessed face I see. Oh my God of mercy, my God of mercy, Lot did not realize that he needed to move. It was too late. Put me back on. Put me back on. Put me back on the uncertain. Tell me when I'm on back again. The thing I love with God, nobody could ever get me to ever be a part of any stupid false religion. No. There's something I discovered with God. I don't know who I learned it, but I learned it. That no matter what condition we are in, there is hope. Yeah. That, 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 that's what I love about God. No matter what I did, you can't condemn me. Come on. You will see me standing and you finished. Even though I did the wrong. And you were perfect. <laughs> That's why I love our God. Anybody go to hell, they need to go there. Because God always give a second chance. Sometimes the one who did wrong is the one who come back and preach better than me. Preach better than bishop, uh, than an overseer. Because we see ourselves. We're not looking for any personal stuff now. We're just trying to represent God. No matter what's going on, do not receive lies and tricks and survival mentality information. Don't, don't turn. You made a mistake like Peter turned. Turn. 
Glory to God. Glory to God. I've seen people in this ministry did so wrong, so wrong, many years ago, so wrong, so wrong. And listen, tell her, there's nobody like them today. It's hard for you to live all like a person today. It's hard. I'm telling you. One time, two times, several. I've seen it. They even, I give up. And as I give up on the person, God said, no, I don't give up. And that person show up, and I have to accept it. Come on, somebody. One woman of God, one, one lady rather, did so bad. And even though all this army don't expel people, I went to that country where the person did bad. And remove a person from the church is the first time I remove somebody and the last time. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the first time I ever move somebody from the church and the last time. But when I remove the person from the church, the person said, I ain't leaving. And the person sat in the back. Every year I go to that country, the person sits in the back. I said, then one year I get a big fat letter. One of the year, a big fat letter, a long letter. Bishop, will you please forgive me? I don't know me back. What am I to do? Who am I? I said, woman, come back. Today she's a senior pastor of a church. You know, with me, somebody here. <laughs> she don't mind me saying it because she, I must be saying it like a hundred times already. <laughs> she don't mind me saying it. Huh. So listen, no matter what happened, there's no condemnation. There is deliverance and change. And can I tell you a secret? Listen, if you if you took the thing, don't tell nobody. You know, you know what? I said, don't tell nobody. Don't go around and tell anybody. Anybody going to tell going to be somebody going to pray for you and deliver you. But otherwise, you can deliver yourself. Yeah. Go in prayer. Go in prayer. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command every alteration. Mark, you don't know the details. You said, know it all. I command every alteration. Every demonic infection, every attack upon my body from this thing, I command it in the name of Jesus to come out of my body, out of my mind, out of my spirit. Hear this one now, out of my soul. Then I say, For it is written, then you quote Psalm 81 9, there shall no strange God be in me. Then you call Matthew chapter 15, somewhere, some verse there. He said, what God hath not planted shall be rooted out. Then, then try one more. Uh, 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 Isaiah 54 verse 15. The righteous shall be far from oppression. You do that and you believe it's over. It's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Live up behind everybody. Father, in the name of Jesus. I release this unto those watching. The Joshua Factor Firewall against the Antichrist, against the beast, against the 666, against the scientific alteration, attacks, infestation that has come upon the world and come upon the church. I cover them under the blood. I rebuke the devil. I rebuke rebellion in the name of Jesus. I rebuke gain saying in the name of Jesus. I rebuke skepticism and criticism right now in the name of Jesus. And I minister to those in this audience and those who are watching. I minister deliverance in the name of Jesus. For it is written who the Son set free is free indeed. Somebody praise God with me for a couple of seconds. Somebody praise God with me for a couple of seconds. God bless you.